And with all the heightened security at soft targets around the world, especially after the Manchester suicide bombing, we wanted to see how Ocean City in particular is handling that threat. Joining me now, Wicomico County Sheriff Michael Lewis. Thank you so much for joining us. Did I get it Thank right? Thank you, Liz. You did a wonderful did job. Right? Okay. Better than most. All right. I appreciate it. Maybe not perfect, but better than most. In all seriousness, um, we are on the heels of a very deadly attack. Um, obviously, would be described as a soft target. I'm looking up and down this boardwalk. Um, a lot of families, a lot of people enjoying their time here. But it's your job to protect them. And, of course, I know that you're in the county just, just west of us. But it's your job and many others Absolutely. to protect these people this weekend. How do you step up to that task? Because it's, it's new. It's a different threat. Well, we only do it with partnerships. Uh, we've been partnering with the Ocean City Police Department and the Worcester County Sheriff's Office, as well as the Maryland State Police for years to keep Ocean City residents and our visitors safe. And uh, we swell to about three to 350,000 people here on any summer day. This is a huge holiday weekend. It's our kickoff holiday weekend, uh, being Memorial Day. And I got to tell you, um, we love to see this boardwalk packed like this, but like you, we have concerns, obviously. But not only do we have uniform members of law enforcement from our different agencies that are partnered to keep everyone safe, we have covert um, operators that are working up and down this boardwalk all day and all night long to ensure that we are on top of anything. And we work very closely with our Joint Terrorism Task Force, and uh, we're on top of everything. We're very confident that uh, those who are visiting Ocean City, Maryland this weekend are going to have an incredible weekend. Right. We want them to have a great weekend. But like everyone else, we are concerned about the potential of anything happening. Well, it's, it's your job to think of the potential. The potential, um, unfortunately, is morbid, and the potential, unfortunately, um, has been a reality. It has. So it's your job to think of every scenario. It's not just your job. There's law enforcement agencies across the nation right now. It's Memorial Day everywhere obviously. So how have you adapted that? How do you think of every scenario? Because you have to be right 100% of the time no matter what. We certainly do. And we receive frequent intel reports and, and frequently have conversation with the FBI. And we get a lot from the Department of Homeland Security. So we're well aware of the other threats that are occurring throughout the nation. But uh, we have to stay focused on our, our mission. Our mission is to ensure the safety of everyone, uh, not only those who live in Ocean City, but those who visit this entire area. For those who come down to Ocean City, Maryland, any given day, they must travel through Wicomico County to get here, my county being the county immediately west of River City today. And uh, it is a concern. It's a concern that we deal with every single day out here on patrol. And uh, through the grace of God, we, we hope and pray that this holiday weekend for all Americans is a safe weekend here on Memorial Day. Not a time for you to be politically correct, I assume. No, it's not. No, it's not. We can't be politically correct. That's what's destroyed our country, political correctness. I've said that many, many times. We have to focus on the issues and head them head on. We can't be politically correct. Does that come from leadership? Do you feel like you have that leadership right now? We certainly have it under President uh, Trump, that's for sure. Okay. All right, Sheriff, thank you so much. Thank you for keeping us safe. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. And for joining us. Happy thank Memorial you. Day. Yes, ma'am. You too.